Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, Reese will be installing a padstone for a steel, then taking down an existing wall, climbing up the attic to remove a ceiling, while I'll be helping being his labourer cleaning everything up. The plan for this weekend was to carry on building the parapet wall. Unfortunately, the weather had other plans and it threw it down all weekend meaning that we couldn't get up on the roof and continue the block work. As well as the torrential rain we were having, we were also having really high winds. We were really worried that the insulation covering the skylights was going to blow away, so we decided to add some more concrete breeze blocks on top. While the weather was bad, we thought we'd nip over to the builder's merchants and collect some more breeze blocks, so that when the weather was better, Reese could carry on with the parapet wall. After we got back from the builders, we decided that we needed to do a skip run and take some of this insulation down to the tip. So we just come back from the skip. Um, as you can see, some of the insulation is gone now. We do need to do another run. Um, also recently, we've had the scaffolding taken down from the front. As you can see, there's no more scaffolding creating shadows in here. And if you follow me, I'm going to show you what today's task is. Part of this project is this wall is coming down up to here. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, the attic 9x3 timber was sitting on the wall. It is currently sitting on a wall going this way, so it is supported. We're going to knock the top course of bricks out. Um, and I need to stick a steel in from this wall over here, spanning across, sitting on this wall. And that will allow us to then discut this wall down, take it all out completely, and it'll be supporting the attic timbers. So if you watch some of the old garden videos, you might recognise this steel. It is a 85 by 160 mil box section steel. Um, I ordered this for the office. Um, I didn't realise you buy it and it's a seven metre length and they send the off cut anyway. So I had 3.1 metres left over. So I've cut it down to 2.1 metres giving it a brush off as you can see all the rust because we sat out the garden for a year and this is what's going to be spanning across the two walls supporting like one end of the attic. I'm just in the bathroom now and you might be able to see the attic joist runs across from this wall is already supported across over on this wall which is supported and this is the wall that's coming out um, so that's the reason I'm using that box section because it's only a little span there's not much weight at all in this corner to be held but eventually, once this wall is knocked down, we will be building a stud wall out and across, and I will be supporting even more with the stud wall. Right, so the areas we're on about, guys, is this is the wall that's coming out here. There is a timber sat on this chimney that spans from here, sits on this wall here, runs across the top of this wall, and just protrudes through. So what I need to do is then knock this wall out, and I need to steal from here across to here, and that will take the end of the timber and then eventually on this drawing, as you can see, the stud wall runs through and runs in line with the existing uh, wall out here. And then the, there'll just be a timber sat on that wall. Uh, sorry, there'll be a steel sat on that wall across here. And then we'll support that attic timber with the stud work as well. Right, guys, I've cleared out the gap at the top. I've cut a little notch for this to go through between the timbers and now I'm going to try and get, get up there without dying um, it's going to be just put in place temporary and then I need to pack it all up shim it all up mortar it all in and then we should be okay to go all right so you probably would have just seen this have a little bit of a struggle to get this in but that's up there now it's sat in the right position here but as you can see it drops off i need to pack it up so it's packed and supporting this timber and then i need to pack the end mortar in and then the rest of this wall can come out so um we've got the steel in i've packed her up here put my laser on it realize this end is about an inch lower when i check the ceiling all the ceiling is all out of level so that doesn't matter now i'm just going to take my ceiling to the lowest point of the steel and that'll be it um, but what i need to do now is i need to take this area out uh, I'm going to pick up some engineering uh, bricks and make a engineering padstone just to take the end weight off this 
we're okay that end because it's sat on a wall going that way it's not going to crumble so it's all right I've just knocked up a quick uh, three to one sand cement mix for the pad stone, nice and strong. I'm going to uh, go up there now, put a bed on, start putting the bricks in. So the pad stone is now in, it doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't need to look pretty if I'm honest. Um, once that's dried over a few days, I can then wedge up the steel again, take those two bricks out and then rest on the pad stone. And then that is all that wall ready to come out. Another night after work, I marked out my line where I need a disc cut. I'm gonna get the uh, water suppression bottle now. I'm gonna mask up, Natasha's gonna mask up, ear defenders and goggles, and we're gonna disc down this wall and start taking the brickwork out. We've just just cut through here. It hasn't gone all the way through, probably about two thirds of the way through, but that's good enough to snap the brick. This is the pad stone. These are my brick packers to hold this up out the way. Um, all I'm going to do now is start taking the brickwork out. This will drop down, sit on here, it's got about two or three mil to drop, and then we can start taking the rest of the brick wall out. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life. Have to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind. So the reason we're taking this out slowly, brick by brick, as you can see, we've got all this electric board still up here live. So I'm going to slowly work my way through and when we get to a certain point, some timber supports down and we'll support all the board and remove the rest of the brick. Right guys, I don't know if you can see that by there, but that there is the main power coming from the uh, utility board outside. Massive cable, lots of power going through it. And I don't know if you can see there, but whoever screwed into this board originally has hit the cable and just missed the live cable. You can see the uh, sleeve in or the insulation is still on the live cable in red, but another mill or two over, that screw in that board down there would have been live. That board probably would have started burning. So yeah, very dangerous. I'm glad I spot that now. So at least I know about it. Yeah, slow progress, but we're getting there. As you can see, wall's coming down. Luckily, the board's supported by the shelf. I do need to give some extra support to hold it up just in case. But yeah, uh, all this wall's coming out. That wall's gonna end up coming out and you can see the pad stone in action. That's it for the night, we've got to clean up, it's getting late, so 
as you can see, back of the boards, this pin will have to come out. And then if we come have a little walk around, you can see this is going to be our bathroom through here. It's going to come out to this wall. And it is going to be out there. So it's going to be a fair size bathroom. We've got to take all this out. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a little alcove right here. Morning guys, it is another weekend. And the plan for today, can drop this ceiling and then also carry on with knocking out all this wall over here. When taking the ceiling down, I found it really hard to demolish. After breaking some of it down, I realized that it had been plasterboarded over. the ceiling in the front room and we're going to carry on knocking some of this out while the dust settles. Uh, a little bit of change of plan. As you can see this pillar here is only like a brick and a little bit um, and it's supporting all the wall above. So I'm not going to knock all this lower wall out. I'm going to start taking the brickwork out above me until I get this lintel out and I can drop this pillar at the same time I'm dropping this lower level wall. As this wall is fairly sturdy and tied in, I'm not going to knock it out just yet, but it will eventually be dropped down to the floor. We're going to keep it in temporary for the shower um, until the shower moves, then it will come out. Here's the aftermath of the ceiling coming down. So Reese is currently taking that wall down and while he's doing that, I'm gonna come in here and pick up all the bits of lath. So I got my mask on and um, I'm gonna start picking it all up. When doing demolition guys, make sure you wear FP3 mask minimum to prevent as much dust as possible. If you've watched any of our other videos, you'll know that all the ceilings throughout this house will lath and plaster. We'll be glad to get rid of them because it's so messy taking them down. Right guys, so this is how we're getting rid of the lath and plaster because it's so bone dry. It goes up in flames within a minute and you could probably burn the whole ceiling in about two or three minutes. This is going to get back to knocking the lintel out and I'm going to go back in the front room and continue to pick up the lath and plaster. Right, so after I took this bit of uh, block work out, there's one fixing into the wall, as you can see it's dropped off the ceiling. I'm just going to push it up, get it fixed into this timber up here. Um, it's fixed into the wall over there and I'll support everything and then I can carry on taking this uh, wobbly pillar out. Here's how this room is looking so far. I've removed a lot of the wood now, just this bit of wood left. Then I can um, get the shovel in here.
so that's the room cleared. I still have some bits of the last pull down. So now we're going to get back to taking down bits of this wall. As you can see guys, this is going to be the new bathroom area, it's fairly large size, a little bit narrow but nice and long, you can get a shower, bath, hand basin, toilet in. Then we go down to the TPC level, um, next week we'll end up digging all this out, but now we've got lots of space to get a mini digger through, which is good news. Make sure you like, subscribe and join us in next week's video where we hire a mini digger to dig all the floors out. What do you think of those driving skills for someone who's never driven one of these before, guys?